What? Shit! God damn it! Corpse and McDedman, welcome back. Sometimes I love something so much I want to wear it as a hat. My exes know what I'm talking about. Welcome back to the show. Or whatever the hell you want to call this. Hell. Hope you guys are making it through. You know, I can't think of a better way to illustrate that we're in hell than being surrounded by a bunch of decorations from Home Depot. Big supporters of Herschel Walker's Senate campaign. Home Depot, been screwing over America since before there was an America. Good for you. The next thing we got coming up is uh, Hal and Howard's top 10 most desperate kills. Featuring Sean Chatfold. Chatfold. Sean Ch Sean Chesterful. Sean Dummy McDum Dum. Welcome everybody. Tune in. Strap on. Uncle Howie's got ya. Oh! You're tuning in live to Howlin' Howard's Top 10 Most Brutal Kills. <laughs> Featuring Sean Chatfield. Come on in, Sean. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm Howlin' Howard. Ow! Thanks uh, for being here. Thank, yeah, thanks for having me. Now, you're a bit of a whore buff, I've heard. That is, uh, that's not true. No, that's not true. That's not correct. I am not the biggest whore enthusiast. Okay. I don't really like it. <laughs> well, get ready for today, because it's going to be a wild ride. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first off, I want to give you a gift to the show. Everyone uh, who comes gets a free barf bag. You're going to need that. You Hold on to that there, serious, sir. Dude? Mm hmm. All right. And <laughs> wait, I'm feeling a <clears throat> feeling a bit strange. Uh, oh, no, not this again. Oh, my goodness. It's a full moon, Sean. I'm afraid of this. Ah, how and Howard here with you. Ooh, and we got the first show lined up. Are you ready? I know I am. <laughs> this is from. This is from Dawn. Excuse me, day yeah. Yeah. of the dead. Number 10 on our list of most brutal kills. George A. Romero's third in the dead trilogy. Sean and Joy. <laughs> the colonel can't find his way away from Bub. Okay. Let us know what happens. Please okay. describe what you see. Okay, there's a guy walking down a hallway. He's saying, come on. He looks like he's been hurt okay there's a lot of zombies in that room i wouldn't oh, there's a lot of hands reaching for him okay now he's i he got shot i think he's shot i think he's he's been shot by a zombie looking it looks like oh a that's horse. bub Ooh, everyone loves bub and then he salutes him and now he's still alive although he has been shot and there's a lot of zombies hugging him now the zombie's looking at the gun not sure, Bob's not sure where to go, and he is—he's walking away. Bob's done. So far, this has been fine. Okay, now they're tearing him apart. Oh my God, in heaven! Okay, so they just ripped off his. Why is he still alive for this? Yeah, right. His legs are being walked down the hall. His guts are all over the place. Oh God, his hand is. There's hands. Choke on him for sure. Ooh. Okay, there's a trail of blood, and zombies are walking around. And they're eating different pieces of him while he still seems to be alive. That's what happens in the day of the dead. His intestines, they're all just going to town on these intestines. They're fucking going. What do you think of our number 10 clip on Howlin' Howard's oh, top 10 most brutal kills? Yeah. I, 
Get ready for number nine, I Sean. Yeah, that's number 10. I don't know what. <laughs> We're going recent A24 released Hereditary. Oh, fuck that, dude. I don't know what it, I just, okay. While a young brother takes his young sister, who's having a bit of an allergic reaction, home from a party, they get into a little fender bender, you might say. Okay, they're driving down the road. There's a deer in the way. A pole, a pole. Did she hit her head on the pole? What am I? Okay. Bit of a decapitation, if you ask me. Ooh! Is her head just taken off? Oh my god! Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> it's a. You fucking serious, bro? Okay, so it's a decapitated head with maggots all over it and eyes rotted out, and now the person's crying because they lost so Lots of ants. Fire ants. I don't know what part of town they live in, but they probably need to call the Orkin Man. Ow! Are you ready for number eight, Sean? No. Sam Rammy's Evil Dead 2. <laughs> Let's get right into it. I haven't seen any of these movies, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't... Okay, he's going. Okay, so... This girl is you know, in a yellow sweater is holding up an ax. There's a guy on the floor. Okay, there's a guy just popped up from the floor, and now he's ripping his from like here and pulled him into this. Oh, he's scratching his wood. Ew. Okay, so now the, the, the guy's trying to take him down to this like hatch in the floor, and this girl's trying to pull his legs out, but she's not having she's having a heck of a time. Okay, yeah, that's a lost cause. That guy's gone. Let go. Get out of there, yellow sweater girl. Oh my god. Okay, so a river of blood just came up from the hole and is spraying all over the- I don't- That is an obscene amount of blood. That's a lot of blood. That is- I don't- That- No way. Okay, it's like a river of blood coming out. <laughs> this one's silly. It's foamy. It's like- Yeah, it's just like red tide. A little bit of a palate cleanser, a little silly. That, that was- thought it was silly, folks. That was- <laughs> That was so- That was so much that it was silly. The last one, number nine, was my least favorite by far. That sucks, dude. Well, I will tell you what's uh, not silly is number seven on our list. A good friend of mine whispered in my ear over at the Mega Strange podcast, Derek Acosta said, I saw the devil and I almost passed out during this scene. Shut Enjoy. Up. No way he said that. Did he say that? Kevin, did he say that? You. Okay, so there's a guy driving a car. He looks happy. Um... Okay, now there's another guy who doesn't look so happy. They're, guy, they're looking at each other. One guy is bleeding a little bit. Not quite sure what to... Okay, he's pulling out a knife. Oh my fucking god, dude! Like a... Fast as shit, stabbing the shit out of these people. There's blood. There is a lot of blood. He's stabbing the driver, which is, I think, a terrible idea. Oh my god, he's just... They're still stabbing. We're still stabbing. The car's all over the place. No shit. He's being stabbed like a million times. Okay. Who needs guns when you got knives, Sean? Now they're now they crashed, which is what I would have expected. <sighs> yes, you that would expect that, wouldn't you? Guy was fast. Ow! Whoa! It's a two for Tuesday. Two kills for the price of one, Sean. Enjoy that. Next up is number six on our list. We go to New York City, Tromaville. Let's chime in with Terra Firmer. <gasps> this is our good departed friend being eaten alive by an escalator. Could what? be based off no, the real life event. Fuck, dude. You tell me. <laughs> Not escalator shit. Okay, so a person is axing the shit out of this guy in the back of the head with uh, on the escalator. That's Joe Flyshaker. Okay, well, there's, gut, there's guts. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, he's being eaten by the escalator as he's being axed as well. This is, so he's being a Oh my God, okay, so he's, this poor soul is being sucked into the escalator, but his chest is compressing up. Like, I think he's being crushed into his own self. Ooh. And now he's, oh my oh. God. <laughs> now he's looking at his own guts and touching his organs. He's pulling out a license plate? It's like Jaws. You ever see Jaws? Arr! I've seen Jaws. Okay, so we're getting silly now. But this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Ew, Ooh, dude. Sausages, entrails, guts galore. <laughs> I... 
really hit. What, what movie is this? Because fuck this movie, dude. Number six on our list was Terror Firmer. Now, Sean, what? time to deviate. <laughs> we stand Lucio Fulci in this house. Italian horror has had its roots in gore ever since its early beginnings. And now I present to you a tribute to Lucio Fulci. We've got two for Tuesday again. Two films in the Gates of Hell series. Number one, Gates of Hell. Number two, Beyond. Enjoy these lovely videos. <laughs> Bonus round! I get the fucking air horn. Okay, uh, there's a drill going into a person's face or laying down. The, they are, it looks like it's going towards their eye. I truly hope it's not. No, it's going to the ear. They're now on a the lathe. He's, it's a la yeah, it's a, big, it's a big drill. Oh my God, that looks so real. Oh my, oh my God, dude. That's why it's we stand right Lucio. Through here. The 1970s. And it's going all the way through his fucking other side. Oh my, oh. Wild in the streets of Italy, Fuck. 1970s, baby. Dude. Wow. It's One going more. through. One more from the gates of hell like for that. you. Oh. Okay, so now that someone's sitting there, it looks like there's blood coming from their eyes and they're, what's in their mouth? There's foam in their mouth, bleeding from the eyes, which looks pretty legit, actually. I don't know how they did that. Now she's vomiting up Something could be entrails, could be her insides. <sighs> okay, the guy, he's in a car, she's in a car with some dude who wants to get out of the car desperately. Um, dude, what is that in her mouth, yo? What is okay? So the guy can't get out of the car, and it looks like it worms or something or a frog. Oh, <coughs> Ooh, could what? be tripe, intestinal. Fluid. Oh no! Oh! <coughs> Gallbladder. Ooh. <coughs> stomach. Real big stomach coming out last. Kidneys could have been kidneys. Oh, and now John. Excuse me, Sean. Yeah. To the beyond. Okay, so now. This fucking sucks. There's a. Uh, it looks like a Michael Myers person. Oh my god, this girl got hit in the face by a demon soul. Now, girl. I don't. I'll pause right here, Sean. I don't condone gun violence, but when it is this. Brutal. You have to show it. Go ahead. Okay. He, he just fucking shot this girl in the that head. One's, that was like, quick. Let me her rewind. Her forehead just explodes off. Come on. Boom. Headshot. Oh, God. Boom. Headshot. Oh. That sucked. It certainly did for her. Oh. That sucks. Okay, so it looks like some zombie looking. I don't know what the fuck that is, but... They're escaping. And now, another scene from Come the on, dude! Man's best friend isn't always playing nice. What do you see, Sean? I see a dog. It looks like it's covered in- Oh my god, it's so- Okay, there's a- No. There's a- there's an attack. Attack on the jugular? Yo, there's just a lot of blood. Flesh ripping, there's blood gurgling. There's a lot of blood. This and it's uh, it's not stopping. It's 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 just another. It's just real in slow motion now. So if you really, in case you missed anything, in case you want to see your ear get ripped off, now you can. Oh, the ear! That was the final body part. <laughs> and one more, the now librarian, uh, the librarian who deeps. Who deep dives too far into unknown books. Okay, so it's a tarantula on a person's face, and it looks like they're eating. They're going through the nostril now. They're biting the nostril. Death by tarantula. There's, uh, there's, um, they're going through, they're biting off the nostril now, and they're going through the nose of this person. Ooh, there's a spider on your face there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um... This is now the there's a blood going through their eyes, and the tarantulas are trying to eat their eyeballs. There may be an eyeball theme coming up later in the show, Sean. Are be you, prepared. I don't know what I did to make you so mad at me to make you do this to me. Okay, so now they're going through the eyes. The tarantula is going into the mouth now, clearly. Just like the um, Billie Eilish music video. 
she does that too. But this is, uh, I like that video more than this one. I don't one. think this guy will be singing a new tune anytime soon though. <laughs> yeah, this guy is, they really, now the chancel is biting the tongue. It looks like eating the tongue off. Uh, this scene is still going, in case you're wondering. They haven't stopped. That's right. The the oh. tarantulas are still eating the face off. We've been doing this for quite some time. Quite as it some is now. time. Enjoyed the Beyond, mm. did you? <laughs> is that the same movie? <laughs> well, there are three from Gates of Hell. Uh, two or two from Gates of Hell. Three from Beyond. <laughs> that yo. Yeah. Well, I, <clears throat> who who is? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? The I oh the the one the stuff coming out of that girl's mouth almost that almost that almost got you. Well, I'm feeling me. a bit better actually. I um I don't I'm know glad you are. <clears throat> I don't know why I was so hoarse earlier, but I don't. Oh wait. Oh God, not again. I hate when this happens. <laughs> oh, Sean. Yeah. It's time. Okay. For number five, oh, we tune in to Reanimator, Stuart Gordon's classic, featuring oh, horror great Jeffrey Coombs. Tell me what you think. Okay. I hope there's no bonus rounds. Any oh, okay. So there's a guy in a suit. He is holding up. It looks like a. Is that a skill saw? And he is. Oh, there's a guy being attacked in the suit. He takes the skill saw and he is wrapping around. The guy's already covered in blood, and he appears Fresh to cadaver. be coming through his chest cavity with that saw, and there's this blood <laughs> fucking everywhere, dude. It oh <laughs> got him. And then he throws the skull saw right. on him, and the nurse who's watching this all happen is falling on the chair. He can't oh, is it is a butt. That's Herbert West's best friend and medical. That colleague. looks like a fake butt. That's a huge butt. No, no, that's all real. That doesn't look real. All practical makeup effects on Howlin' Howard's top 10 most brutal kills featuring Sean Chatfield. Ow! Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, Sean? Round four, <laughs> we're almost done. Number four, we're flying all the way over to New Zealand. You know acclaimed director Peter Jackson. I do. Here's Dead Alive or Brain Dead as it was known no locally. <laughs> he did Peter Jackson? Okay. I saw the Frighteners. At, okay. The guy is holding up. It looks to be like a lawnmower. And he is showing almost like it's a fan going towards the thing of zombies. And he <laughs> he is just literally mowing them down. It's raining blood, body parts everywhere. People are trying to escape. This guy's <laughs> eyes are covered in blood. Um, organs being thrown at him. Peter Jackson did this, huh? That is a lot of blood. That <laughs> is a workshop. <laughs> now it's showing the close-ups of the lawnmower, which is now covered in meat. Party's over. <laughs> oh, they're still standing, though. He's going back for seconds. He's going back to them right in their hands. Fuck, dude. Okay, right in their faces. Now his head's on the ground, organs in the air. There is a lot, dude, the guy should have escaped. I don't know why he's doing this. I would have gotten the fuck. They're just kicking this head around like he's, it's nothing. He's protecting his homestead as it were. This guy is covered in meat and guts and essentially all you do is see a, a wall of blood. It's just so much blood. Peter Jackson, huh? They give him Lord of the Rings. Who'd have thought that worked out? Let's see him cast Gladriel in this. Okay, so, um... Okay. A little bit of reprieve for you, Sean? How you feeling? That was gross. <laughs> Bonus round! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's right. I told you before. I gore. Not Frankenstein's servant, but I gore. Sean, this is a bonus round. Two more from Old Lucio's The Beyond and one from Opera featuring quite an amazing explosion of a telephone as well as Planet Terror from Robert Rodriguez. A first Lucio Fulci's Beyond. Arr! Okay, so there's a sewer draining some goo. This guy's looking in it. He's kind of smiling. Hand just comes in and grabs him in the face. It's like a zombie looking hand. The nail is now going into his eye. It is poking his eye. It is poking his eye out. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Next up. Okay, now it's another hand on a face and then it's going like this and this guy's looking really scary. 
And then I don't. It's a nail on the back of the. She's being pushed into a nail with the back of her head, and he's just trying to force her head through. And it went through and went through the and popped the eyeball out, popped it out. And now there's this this. It looks like the NeverSoft logo from Tony Hawk. That's a good observation. What is it with these Italians all obsessed with eyeball stuff? Okay, now we're seeing a cart. Oh, that's it. Thank God. Next. My favorite. Dario yeah, Argento's a, opera. She's, she's looking through an eye hole, which is making me really nervous. Okay, she's talking to someone through an eye hole. They're holding up a gun. Not the gun. She's looking through the eye hole, like right up here against the eye hole. Oh, shot, shot right through the eye. That's, that's not what you want at all. So she got, it It looked like the James Bond start for a second. Now she's laying on the floor. Someone's crying and screaming. I mean, I can guess why. <laughs> and finally, Josh Brolin and Ted Ramey in this Fabulous Josh scene. Brolin. Okay, now he's holding a skill saw. Very popular use of. Okay, going right through the. It's plugged in, but it's going through the glasses and the bridge of the nose right here. But I'm hoping it gets unplugged soon. Oh, unplugged. You've, you've seen this one. No, but that seemed like you know. Why would you show the? the you blood? can't fool a fool. I know you've seen this. Okay, now he's pulling out a blood boil, and he's putting it on his face, right in his eye, and. So it seems to me like that maybe would have been acidic or something because he's acting like he's really in pain by this and it's fucking him up. He's sitting there. He's getting more fucked up. Oh. Soup. It ends on a scene with soup in the next well, shot. He, isn't that, isn't the, that the, lovely? The popping of the whatever to put on his face. Okay, like enough pretty. bullshit. Back to the countdown. Arr! We saw what was behold for the lady through the looking glass, a shot in the eye, but what else is eye related in another Italian classic? Let's go to number three. Okay, so it looks like, oh, what the fuck did you start me with? It's an eye with, like, looks like sewing needles sewing needles through the eyelids which i don't know how they even filmed that but now they're showing the it's, it's like the clockwork orange scene you have to watch oh my god okay so the person has sewing needles taped to their eye oh he's got, someone's got stabbed through the neck and through the, the mouth and it's oh my god knife right through here by the person with the oh the sewing needles who filmed that dude the guy's trying to stop the knife attack but oh no dude best soundtrack of the night he's stabbing them He's in his hands a lot. The sewing needle thing, I don't know who filmed that or what you... That looks... That sucks. <laughs> that fucking sucks, dude. Okay, so the guy's dead. The sewing needles are still taped to her eye right here, going up like this. And now... Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Thank the devil, maybe. Because do you know what time it is, Sean? <laughs> Another bonus round. What are we just doing? <laughs> Let me back this up. This one is gore so real. Is no. it fake? No, Question mark. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut up. Are you serious? No real murder caught on tape, Sean. You did have stipulations for this bit. Here we go. Two from my favorite Cannibal Holocaust. And one from the green room. Our dear friend Johnny gave us a nice nice little tip as well as the worst film i've ever seen you aftermath let's begin hey we're outside Ooh, lovely green setting it's it, looks, it kind of looks like a swamp area person maybe soldiers or they have like a backpack i can't tell if they're soldiers or just people can't be oh there's a there's a, a, a woman with a stake through her just sitting there and they're filming it they seem to not care at all about this. How would you even get that shot, Sean? This uh, isn't upsetting to them in the slightest. It does look real. People are watching it. They're upset. I'm upset. Is that a person's wiener? Are they cutting a wiener off? The Yanumame. Are they cutting a wiener off? That looks so real. Are you fucking serious, Gary? The Yanumame are a cannibal tribe. Yes, that was not real, though, I assure you. Just looked very real. Next that up, looks so real. Green are you room. sure? There's no BME Pain Olympics, I'll tell you that. 
Okay, Ooh, so, featuring Anton Yelchin. Okay, so they're holding a gun. The people are laying on the floor. A guy pulls out a machete. Oh, maybe it's not a machete. I don't know what it is. Some kind of thing. He's just stabbing this thing into a, a door while people are arm wrestling, apparently. Oh, he breaks the arm. The arm is broken. They broke the arm. They're stabbing through this thing. The arm looks really broken. Yeah. Oh, it looks... That looks fucking gnarly. Ooh. Poor Anton had his arm out there with those yeah, savage neo-Nazis. Look at the cuts. Look at the lacerations. Okay, so... Oh, my God. Ew. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Don't go to a Nazi punk rock show. I'll just say that much. Next up, after math. You. Oh, I can't bear. You come in your eyes? Okay, so someone is... Cutting into a, looks like a, uh, a cadaver, a dead person with a knife. Looks like a steak knife. I don't, that's a really charred up body. They're feeling their gloves right now. They're now, they're caressing inside the Ooh. chest cavity, Ooh. trying to see maybe find the heart. What does the mortician do when everyone's away from the office? Oh, oh yeah, because he, they're not, this does not seem medical. This seems, he is putting, he's, he's jerking off. <laughs> Check out these wonderful films and more. Cannibal Holocaust, The Green Room, and Aftermath for realistic gore like you've never seen before. <laughs> Dude, I saw a guy get his penis cut off. No, I, that I'm was not real. That was it. fake. That was fake. I, I, assure, I assure you. Sean, how'd they do that? A palate cleanser, number two on the list. Tokyo Gore Police. Enjoy. Okay, so. Looks like a person is standing there. I can't tell if her arm is a whole knife. It is. She, this girl is a schoolgirl outfit. She, her body seems to be a monster with an eyeball like somewhere right here. And she's squeezing acid out of her monster looking boobs. Ooh, lactation acid. It's, and it's burning this other girl. So her monster boobs are bur melting this other girl's body off. And now it's like a skull shaking and uh it looks like the crypt keeper kind of and this girl with the knife hand and scary acid boobs are is screaming yeah yeah a little lighthearted, a little over the top not so realistic that wasn't as bad as number two and now what's next uh, dare i ask <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> you <laughs> fuck i was so close final bonus round not even of this genre. Oh. Yes, that's right. We're breaking out of the box for two, that's right, two new kills that are so brutal, so disgusting, but didn't quite fit into the horror framework. Sean, okay. are you excited? Uh, I guess I'm more curious. Now, we traveled all the way over to Japan for that last clip. We're back, baby. Here's Devil Man. Oh, it's an anime. Okay, well, so far I'm feeling much better. All right, Devil Man looks like Wolverine, and now is reaching into someone's face, like a blonde person, and they're squeezing it and ripping it. Oh, ripping that head right off. That is a Devil Man. Akira Fudo. Oh, just now turned. it's just a, a naked woman, headless, falling back. You can call me Devil Man. He likes this one, I can tell. I don't, but this one is cartoon. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, thank God. This is and now Devil Man is running, <laughs> just punching the shit out of these like monster looking things and just eating them as blood. But again, cartoon. Ooh, ew. Uh, Ooh. Someone shot these needles in this person's face and they're covered in needles. needles but again, in the face. But again, cartoon. We're still in the bonus round. The cartoon was easy for him, he says. Oh, no, I, don't, I didn't say it was easy. I Let's see how you fare with this one. It needs no further introduction other than enjoy this scene with Edward Furlong. And Edward Norton in what? American no, History dude, X. No, dude, fuck you. Fuck off with this one. I'll never forget. No, fuck you. Okay. I'll never forget no what way. a curb stomp is. Come Go on, ahead, you... Okay, you all know the fucking scene I'm seeing. I'm not even going to describe it to you. Don't do it. Ooh, He's playing ooh, this. Oh, hear, I hate this hear. scene. I hate this fucking scene, dude. You can dude. hear the teeth. I ah. hate the fucking scene, dude. Don't do it. Don't. That... Whoever... Sh that's fucked. Teeth on a curb. We all know it's going to happen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He did it. 
Lesson learned here, never, ever put your teeth on the curb. Okay, Sean, you've made it this far. God. <laughs> so far. Yes, be warned, for it is our number one most brutal kill. This comes from a favorite of mine. That's right, Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Let's check in with Uncle Frank. Ready, Sean? Yeah. Okay, so a guy has his, a, a hook in his hand, like a Resident Evil video. Now he's being double hooked in his hands. This girl sees that, he's really scared. He's turning around and it looks, oh, that's the Hellraiser, all right. Ooh, that's Uncle Frankie's niece. <coughs> There's a demon looking thing. There's a guy with sunglasses and it looks all fucked up. Oh, that's Pinhead. That's Pinhead. Leader of the Cenobites. The, the hooks are all over the place. They're ripping out his shirt and his skin and his organs. It's getting right up in the organs. And now a saw is going through his chest. He's covered in chains. And this girl is watching this. Oh, my God, dude. This, wow. That's rough. Now his tongue is still moving around, but his face is all covered in hooks and he's being torn apart. And, um. Jesus. Wet. Is that why you say that? <laughs> okay, now this girl's crying. Oh, my God. He was, he was. He didn't make it. Jesus wept all right. Uncle Frankie, you know, he's been getting up into some nasty business in the attic. <laughs> Sean. Yeah. That was <coughs> all we had in store for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. I'm feeling, <coughs> feeling a bit of... <clears throat> feeling... Oh, whoa. Peace, guys. What's up? Um, that, so that was uh, uh, Howlin' Howard's top 10 most brutal kills. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to my guest, Sean. Remember to take that uh, complimentary barf bag home with you. And um, be sure to join us next time here at Omega 64 Studios. I'm Howlin' Howard. I'm saying goodnight. Yeah.